All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up a spine, but we're also gonna talk about how to set up uh, some blank transforms. So basically like non-joint based transforms so that we can actually uh, create other controls outside of just m manipulating the skeleton. I'm gonna set this up a little differently. So we're gonna create a line, give the line four points, and then we have our rig doctor and we're going to initialize the transform. So now we have our joints all set up. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna rename that first joint down here to hip, just to help explain this a little bit better. Let's select that first joint, type in hip. Okay, that's all done. Now let's go to our pack folder and pack everything. This is base, scale, and now let's throw down our first auto rig component. This is going to be the FK transform. And remember, this is our add point transform, right? This is what we want. So now every joint is ready to be transformed or receive transform. So let's throw down another auto rig component and this is going to be our spine. So let's just quickly throw this in. So this is hip, point one, point two, Point three. All right, so our hip is all set up. Awesome. Um, so there's one issue with this though, because we say we wanna move the entire spine, right? We don't wanna have to select everything and then move it all, especially because you know it creates weird transforms. So what we want is another transform that moves the entire spine. So we're gonna go into another component here. And this one is called the transform driver. And so it usually comes in with like these three blank ones and I just go on and delete them. So what this does is it creates basically a blank transform and it's essentially just a, an open controller. It's not a controller based off of a joint like the spine controls are. This is just a, a, a basic control. So the driven transformations is what we want to drive, and that's going to be the hip. And the control is going to be called the cog or the center of gravity control. So we'll turn off guides for now because we're not, we're not using any guides. And we'll refresh this. And now if I select that, I can move that around. Very nice. So now I have my center of gravity control and I have my spine control. So say cog and spine. So we'll configure the controls. Please go away errors. And so really quick, I think I'm just gonna do the cog for now just to kind of illustrate a little bit more how this works. I like using the cross for the center of gravity control. Let's make it red. Actually, I always make my cogs yellow. All right, let's move it down a little bit so it's not right on top of our hip. And it's typically good to have the center of gravity uh, be the same pivot point, right? So we move the control, but the pivot point is still the same as the spine. So let's add the character to the apex scene and then let's throw down an animate. Okay, so everything is all set up. So our spine is set up and we have this center of gravity control so we can move the entire spine and then we have our individual spine controls. So we've talked a lot about the different components and what they do. But I think at this point, if, if you've been following along we know enough now to create an actual rig. We know enough to take one of our characters and rig it to the point where we can actually start doing stuff with it. So in the next video, we're going to start actually rigging a full character. And we're going to use everything that we've learned to create something that is hopefully robust enough and fun to use so that we can utilize this insanely fast and speedy animation environment.